comparison between four cylinder turbo, our six cylinder 3.6, what do you see in comparison here? Well, I mean, stock for stock, since that's what we're kind of going for yeah. to get a comparison. I'm the torque line. So torque <laughs> is at 220 something. And your torque, yeah, 220. All right, cool. So yeah, it's definitely still making the same torque for stock for stock on the H6 swap. Right. Uh, I mean, as far as power, I mean, it's it's making the same power, peak power. I mean, 225, this is 224. I, I think stock for stock, this would be a fairly decent race. You raced a bone stock car, mm -hmm. you know, in the streets of Mexico. In the streets of, yeah, <laughs> and not, not anywhere illegal, yes. Yeah, so Absolutely. the big thing, like I, I try to always break it down to customers is you can have two cars, both of them make 300 horsepower. Right. The car that has the highest average is gonna win the race. I right. don't see why not. This would be a whole lot of fun to drive on the street. Cool. So. Awesome. Well, thank you for your insight. Yeah. Appreciate it. No worries. So our conclusion at this point is that the six cylinder horsepower numbers tuned are very similar to a stock STI. Now you have to take into account that the six cylinder modifications to get this engine in the car are much more complex than any STI swap would be, but the offset is that the six cylinder engine itself is gonna be much cheaper. So you can trade parts for labor. The question is whether that's gonna be worth it for your project. We're gonna talk about all of this and more in future videos and compare the six cylinder a lot more to the STI. We're also gonna tune the STI and recompare so stay tuned for all of that.